What's going on guys, it's Ness bringing us my updated Stamp Crow build for the Stone Thorn patch. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So, starting us out with the character sheet, we have 12k mag, 26k health, 31k stam, 1300 stam recovery, and 3400 weapon damage, all unbuffed. We have 44% weapon crit, and you can see the rest of the numbers there for yourself. I have everything in the stamina, and I am an orc. I'm using Lava Foot as the food, and Shadow as the mundus. My top two Mundus's would either be the Shadow or the Warrior. Shadow is definitely a lot better for healing, and when you crit somebody, you're going to crit very, very hard. So I'm liking the Shadow at the moment, but the Warrior is good regardless. Going into the gear. This is a very common setup. A lot of people are going to be running it pretty much across all the stand builds, but get right into it. We have Briarheart Front Bar, so we have this on a Maul in Nurnhund with a Berserker Glyph. Now you could do Sharpened instead, that's purely up to you. I've tried both, both are good, they're just very situational, kind of dependent on who you're fighting. So up to you on the trait, which you want to go with. Back bar, we have a clever sword and board, so we have this in Nurnhone in an impen shield with a stam glyph. I'm using Nurnhone, some people might ask why you're not using powered. Nurnhone is going to be better with the amount of weapon damage we get up to, so that's why we're using Nurnhone for the healing as well as we have escapist poisons on the back bar. I know some people are going to comment about it, so I do have six pieces of clever on the back bar. If you want to be a little bit more optimal, what you want to do is you want to get a Briarheart piece here, either a 1H of Briarheart or a shield of uh, Briarheart, so you want to have one clever and one Briar, whichever way you have it, and then you can get a little bit more crit on your back bar for your healing. But that's something you guys can all do. Then for the monster set, we're using Balorgs. As you guys can see, of course, we're just all damage. Necro doesn't really need any tankiness or any sustain, anything like that. So just even more damage from Balorgs. For the body, we're using all Impen and all Triglyphs. Optimally, I would have two or three well fitted, but I haven't bothered to add those pieces in just yet. And I'm in five medium and two heavy. Moving on to the jewelry. They are all weapon damage and all bloodthirsty, which I will talk about in one moment. But we have two Briarheart pieces here, so a ring and a neck. And then finally, I'm using the Wild Hunt ring. So I'm using the Wild Hunt ring because you cannot use the Malaketh band with Briarheart. Briarheart needs to be procced off of dealing crit damage. Likewise, a lot of people like to run away nowadays, so I use the Wild Hunt ring so I can chase after him. And if I have a Zerg on me, I can kite a little bit better with the Wild Hunt ring. Now, why am I using Bloodthirsty? Well, it's actually the best, in my opinion, for PvP and PvE. So, if you read it, increases your weapon and spell damage against enemies under 90% health by up to 350. This is per ring. So, all in, it is a ton of damage and definitely more than infused. It's very, very, very noticeable the second you get somebody's health down at all. Like, it's not like you have to get somebody to execute range to notice this damage increase at all. I get people to 80% health and can already tell I'm dealing more damage with this than I would be with infused. Let alone 70%, 60%, 50%, you get where I'm going with it. The lower you get somebody, the more guaranteed they are to die, basically. So that's why I'm using Bloodthirsty. It's by far the best trait for PvP, in my uh, opinion, and is a lot of damage. So... This is probably going to be meta. I haven't looked at a ton of build videos or a ton of commentaries so far this patch, but I'm definitely going to be making commentary about Bloodthirsty and talking about it because, in my opinion, it's definitely the best in PvP overall. So, going into the skills, the skills are pretty straightforward. We're using D Swing, Camo, Forward, Blast Bones, Reverse Slice. You definitely want to go with Reverse Slice. I know a lot of people like to stick with Executioner, but Necro, you're an AoE class. You need an AoE Execute. You have Blast Bones, Dawnbreaker. You need to be able to finish up multiple people at the same time. Likewise, they fix Reverse Slice, so it does hit hard once again. And we're using Bloodthirsty, so it doesn't matter. If you get people to half health and you start Reverse Slicing, they're going to start getting nuked. Not even to mention when they're actually in like 25% range. They're guaranteed dead with this. Now going to the back bar, we have Braided Tether. This is the other morph of Mortal Coil. If you want to go with Mortal Coil, you can. I really don't need to sustain, and when I'm playing with friends, I like to heal them with this. So that's why I'm going with that morph. The Ghost, of course. Vigor, Elude for the speed buff. And Beckoning Armor. And Temporal Guard. If you want to go with the sword and portal on your back bar you can do that likewise when i do hop in a group with my friends don't really need undo so i will back bar colossus sometime 
Going on to the CP to finish us out, I will start with blue because I want to finish with green and talk about something for a second. I have 43 blessed, 81 mastered arms, 48 precise, 55 piercing, 43 mighty. My same old red CP, so 61 iron, 43 resistant, 43, 43 hardy Ellie, 37 thick, and 43 quick recovery. Coming into green, we have 48 warlord, 22 sprinter, 1 siphoner, 56 mooncalf, 40, 40 tumbling shadow ward, and 63 befoul. Now I decided to stop here because of course some people are probably either going to hate or comment about it or say something about befoul. All I'm going to say is if you don't want to run Befal, you do not have to. If you think this is cheesy, you can simply put these points somewhere else. If anybody's going to be mad at me for me telling people about Befal CP, there's much worse stuff in the game at this point, and pretty much everybody knows what this is. If you ever fight a Necro nowadays and they throw out Blast Bones at you, it's very apparent that they already know what Befal is because you literally can't heal for a second. So... Again, it's up to you. Yes, it is slightly cheesy, but it is something that benefits your class and your playstyle. And there's much cheesier stuff out there nowadays. So, up to you if you want to run this CP or not. If you don't, just put the points somewhere else. And it's up to you. But yeah, guys, that's about it for the build. As always, I'm Ness, and thank you to all my supporters. Links are down below if you want to check me out anywhere. I do stream on Twitch, my Patreon, my join button, everything like that. I love all you guys so much. Thank you, guys. And I'm out.